let's look at this equation as I uh, told you in the last video. I'm going to do this question. So 10 by 1. Hopefully you should have done this question by now. Okay, so I'll go over the, I'll read the question again. So this is a rectangular and a hexagonal garden, a school garden is shaped like a rectangle. So this is a rectangle and a regular hexagon. So this is a six-sided hexagon. The rectangle's length is double its width. So this is your length and this is your width. Okay, so yeah. So if I've taken, so finally, I'll read the last part. Write an equation that will help you to calculate the width of the rectangle. So this is also a good way of solving word problems. So whenever you have a word problem, whatever you want to find, that you can let as x. Okay, now instead of x, why can't we call it w? Okay, you don't need to use always x. So I'll say the width is w. So this is a very crucial word. The length is double its width. So suppose L is the length. L is 2 times W, twice the width. So that is written as 2W. So in place of length, you can put 2W. You have to think in a very simple and a logical manner. So this is where people struggle because they don't can't think in a normal way. So now this is a hexagon. So regular hexagon means all the sides are equal. So if this is W, this side would also be, because this is a rectangle, so if this is W, can you understand this is also W? So this is also W because it's regular hexagon. So all the sides are this is 2w. <clears throat> okay, now let's read the question. A garden, the garden is to be surrounded by a bendable plastic border. So this is the border and you want to surround it by a plastic border. The border does not go between the shapes. So you're not using your border or your plastic here. Okay, we're not using it's only the boundary. It requires 25 meters. This is again a very crucial sentence. It requires 25 5 meters of border to completely surround the garden. So what does this mean? It requires 25 meters of border to completely surround the garden. So that means if you, the total length of the border is 25. So this means, so let me write that. This means, this sentence means total length of border at times it's always good to reframe the uh, sentence so I understand the sentence like this the total length of the border they're telling me is 25 meters and now the question is uh, write the equation that will cal that will help you to calculate the width of the rectangle so this is as I discussed in the last video this is what is given this is what is given, okay, and uh, this is also what is given. Now you want to relate uh, relate this given with this given, okay. So you don't need to know anything. You have to just relate 25 with these Ws. So I can say, what can I say? Total length of border. Total length of border in a different way of border is given to be 25 and now if I look at the border it is how many okay so let me write that so let let me start from here if I start from here the total length of the border would be w plus 2w am I right so it's w plus 2w Plus how many W's? W plus W plus W plus W plus W. You had five W's. So that is plus five W. So I have taken care of this, this. You got five W's. And then you end up with two W. Plus two W is the total length of the border. Now this is one lot of W plus two lots of W plus five lots of W. 
plus 2 lots so 5 plus 2 is 7 7 plus 2 9 plus 1 is 10 W so can you relate this with this okay so they, are, they have given us that the length of the boundary is 25 meters and we have formed we have also written the length of boundary or the border in terms of W which is 10 W so I can say well it's pretty easy I can say 10 times W is equal to 25 so if you divide both sides by 10 so my W is 2.5 meters okay so let me check so this is very crucial step to always check your answer okay so what have we what have we got so we got this is 2.5 meters so this will be 5 meters this will be 5 meters this is 5 meter 5 meter I'm writing in short so the total length would be uh, 2.5 uh, yeah so you got sorry <laughs> I am hurrying so you can see my mistake okay always good to check your answer so this is 2.5 so this is also 2.5 2.5 this is also 2.5 and this is also 2.5 so now to check your answer it is 2.5 how many 2.5s do you have 1 2 3 4 5 6 2.5 times 6 is what is 25 times 6 25 times 6 is 150 so it is 15.0 then you got 5 times 2 which is 10 so the total answer is 25 meter 25 meters and that's what they give that the total length of the border is 25 meters so I got few more minutes I want to finish this in 10 minutes so I selected two more questions of uh, solving so I want to solve this it means you want to find the value of X so I'm going to discuss this in two different ways because solving is when you have equation like this uh, students find it too difficult how can you get the answer so I always tell my students when you're solving equation consider the equation as the two sides of a physical balance so if you want to balance the balance what you do is the weight on both the sides should be the same so in other words whatever you if you add something to one side you have to add to the other side to balance the balance in the same way if you take away something from one side you have to do the same thing on the other side okay so yeah I'm going to do in two different ways two interesting ways one is 6x I can write as 4x plus 2x and this 9 so let me write only one step okay sorry 6x plus 2x plus 9 is equal to 2x plus 2x plus 1. So there are two sides of the equation. You've got 2x here and you've got 2x here. So if you take this away, you can also take this. If you take away 2x from both sides, you have balanced the equation. Okay, so it's like balancing the book. Or even in chemistry, you'll learn how to balance uh, reactions. Okay, so this is 4x plus 9 is equal to uh, 2x okay. plus Okay, so let me continue. So I could have done in a different way. Okay, I was carried away. I could have written this. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so I want to, uh, if I, now I can write this as 2x plus 2x plus 1 plus 9 is equal to 2x plus 1. So 4x I have written as 2x plus 2x and 9 I have written as 1 plus 8. Okay. So here you can see teachers can also do uh, silly mistakes. So here you've got a 2x here plus 2x, you've got a plus 2x here. You've got a 1 year, you've got a 1 year what can we do we can cancel if you take away 2x from this side you can take away 2x from this side 
take away one from this side, you can take away one from this side. So, what is left over? It is 2x plus 8. What is left on the right hand side? There's nothing. So, how do you write nothing in maths? You put 0. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take away, I'm going to write, show the next step like this 2x plus 8 minus 8 is equal to, if you take away 8 from this side, you have to take away 8 from the other side. So what will happen now? So this plus 8 and minus 8 gets cancelled. So this is 2x, you can see this is x plus x, it's 2x, is, this is negative 8, you can use this color, this is negative 8. Now how can you write negative 8? as two identical numbers, the addition of two identical numbers. So that is negative 4 plus negative 4. You've got x plus x here, you've got negative 4 plus negative 4. So you can compare the left hand side with the right hand side, you can, so you can say x is equal to negative 4. Okay, so this is one way of doing it. So I will discuss the next in the next video. Next, uh, the same example, I'll try to do this in a, this is too long, if I want to make it uh, simple, so let me finish this example in a different way, so if I'll do this here, I'll try to squeeze in here. If you want to do quite fast in one step, because once you understand solving of equation, you should know how to do it faster. So to do it faster, what you do is, you bring the x's on one side and the numbers on the other side. So by convention it's better to bring the x's on the left hand side. This is your left hand side and this is your right hand side, RHS. So well, what can I do? I will say, well, I want to get rid of this 4x. So I want to take away 4x from this side. So you have to take away 4x from this side. I don't want the number 9 here on the left hand side. I will take away 9 from this side. So you have to take away 9 from this side. So now these are the two sides of an equation. Okay, so what happens now? What happens is plus 9 and minus 9 gets cancelled, plus 4x and minus 4x gets cancelled. So now you've got 6x take away 4x, which is 2x, which is negative 8. 1 take away 9 is negative 8. Now this is 2 times x, so I divide this side by 2, so I also divide this side by 2. So this x and, sorry, 2 and 2 gets cancelled. So what remains is x is equal to negative 4. Now, okay, again, I would always check my answer, whether my answer makes sense. So let me put, let us do it here. Left hand side is 6x plus 9. So you go 6 times negative 4 is negative 24 plus 9 is negative 15. You can use a calculator. Your right hand side is 4x plus 1, which is 4 times negative 4 is negative 16 plus 1, which is also negative 15. So this way you have checked your answer and you should be really proud of yourself. So you can give yourself any number of, uh, let us give us 5 smiley uh, faces. See you in the next video.